Hi everyone, Angela and Mr. Riken here. Today we wanted to take you through our front flower beds and show you some of the beautiful new spring growth that we have and some of our favorite plants. All right, here we go. Okay friends, so I decided to come over here to the South Garden. We just planted this last fall. Um, we are at April 17th right now. Um, and look at all of this amazing growth. The last two nights we had some frost. Um, so I expected a little bit of frost damage, but everything seems to be looking so good. Anyways, look how big these leaves are. All of these hostas and ligularias came from my mom's house, my mom and dad up in Minnesota. Um, that's a purple ligularia. It's, I don't, that's not really what it's called, but it's the purple one that we have. <laughs> um, and it will get great big and have beautiful orange blooms or yellow blooms, I think. Um, all of these little hostas are from my parents place um, and so we're in Missouri and I just love the variegation on this one look at that oh so gorgeous um, and yeah so they brought all of these down for us I'm just incredibly impressed with these bright colors I think they're gonna look so good we're under a huge oak tree um, so that will provide a lot of shade for these guys um, but also a lot of you know Missouri Sun and keep hopefully most of the heat off um, look at these bright, beautiful colors. And yeah, like I said, we're at the middle of April right now. Um, so we don't have too much more to worry about. Look how great and thick this is, guys. I wish I knew all of the names. I'll have to get back to you guys on that. Um, hostas are brand new for me. There we go. They each have their own special name. <laughs> but I'm terrible about all of them. Uh, my mom can tell you though she knows everything this one is like queen bee or beatrice or dorothy hamill <laughs> i don't know um, but we tagged it because it is super special this is my mom's pride and joy um, it's a little later to bloom but when it does um, i'll make sure that you guys get to see about it it's going to be huge anyways i put the little cage on here because i didn't want the dogs and or children to be running up on it all the time because there's always squirrels in this tree. Um, excuse me, and everyone's always running into it. Anyways, this is another ligularia. It's huge. Um, there's actually two plants there, and then we have one hosta here and another one that need to be moved. That little guy right there. Because um, this plant will get at least twice the size, and then the, 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 like the flowers will probably be, I don't know, um, five or six feet tall I think they're gonna be huge so anyways I still have some work to do but this was a work in progress um, like I said I think it was August or September when we planted all of this um, so there wasn't a ton of growth last year but I'm like really in love with these ones these are um, that one came from my mom but then I think these three I love this one um, these are like petite they're like small ones but I like how different all the leaves are Isn't that so beautiful and then these two are kind of like this is a medium wavy and then this is like little tiny wavy ones and I just think that is so unique you don't see a lot of that in hostas anyways I asked my mom when she brought these to give me some that were all kind of uniform because I didn't want this this garden to be like bam in your face I really just wanted kind of a simple lots of green and beauty and then I'll fill that three-tiered thing up with um, some annuals to get some fun colors and then of course um, we'll put something in there too to have some nice colors so let's take a quick jaunt over here um, the straw we laid some fresh seeds since we had so much work done um, this little guy he's gonna have to be moved He's not doing well. Hasn't grown at all in like three years, but obviously there's a bunch of new growth, so maybe this year will be its year. Um, tiny hostas, tiny hostas. I threw those two in the ground um, right before frost and hoped that they that they would survive. I don't think they're gonna stay there, um, but my hope is that this creeping Jenny will just take over this whole corner here um, so that we have some bright color pops. And again, you guys know I'm so bad. This is like a Japanese something. Big, beautiful lemon lime leaves. Um, it's not a hosta. 
Um, we got this at the end of the fall too and just threw it in so that it would survive. Um, I did put down fresh wood chips because I really didn't want to do a bunch of weeding. <laughs> um, I've been doing so much of that lately um, that I didn't want to. Another huge hosta, I'm not sure which one this is, threw it in the ground. These, I love them. Look at those ferns. So this came on the north side of my parents' house in Minnesota where there's virtually no sun. Um, and in this particular spot, they're gonna get some sun, uh, but not any hot heat of the day. I just think they're so neat. Who doesn't love ferns? You know what I mean? There's four or five plants in there. I don't know if you can see down there. One, two, three, four. Um, so they're doing really great. This pasta is like a staple piece. It's doing incredible, again, from Minnesota. Um, another little hosta, it shall persist. Some grass, we'll probably move them. Um, a hydrangea, yep, we just got this in the fall. Um, and it's just starting to bud out here. You can't really see it against everything, but, <clears throat> excuse me, I trimmed it back. So if you can see, like right there, um, I trimmed it all back a little bit, cut out all of the really small little um, branches so that it could really focus on some strength for the plant, hoping that that would do it somewhat, you know, do well with all the big flowers. So we'll see how that goes. It's my first hydrangea, but my mom always says you need to put hydrangeas by the front door so that you have beautiful color and, oh, so it smells great, yes. Um, and then of course, all of this Creeping Jenny will fill in here eventually. Um, I killed it all off with, I don't know, bug repellent or um, sluggo, I think is what I used last year. And I learned very quickly that I can't do that. So I will not be doing that. Hey bud. <laughs> um, and just real fast up here, we have a couple containers that the kids have been doing just for fun over the last couple days cause it's, or a couple weeks because it's been kind of crazy. And then my goal here um, is to fill in those two bare spots right there and right there with um, this lamb's ear. So in another year, they will spread and be full. And then we'll just have soft lamb's ear everywhere. Oops, sorry, that was kind of fast, guys. Um, and I'll probably move this to the south side of the house, this urn. And then we have an Arbor Vitae. So, looks gorgeous. But anyways, guys, I just kind of wanted to show you um, so you could see the very beginnings of our front yard um, at April. And, you know, once things get gorgeous this fall or even midsummer, I'll give you an update. Um, we're so blessed to have such a long growing season here in southern Missouri. So... I'm sure we'll have some gorgeous stuff to share with you guys. Okay, that's it. I'm tired. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm going to head in, but I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.